Hello and welcome to our revision lesson on surface area. The definition of surface area is the sum of the areas of each face of an object. Those faces are usually common shapes such as circles, squares, triangles and rectangles, but could also be other types of polygons. For example, a cube has six faces. In the case of a square, the area of each face is equal. So, if one side of a cube is equal to 3 units, the area of each face will be 3 times 3, and the surface area of the cube will be 6 times 3 times 3. This is 54. A triangular prism has 5 faces, 2 identical triangle faces and 3 rectangular faces. So if you do not know the formula for the surface area of a triangular prism, just calculate the area of each face of the prism and add them together to get the total surface area. Let's revise the general formula to find the total surface area of a prism. The general formula for surface area is 2 times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. In this case, the base is a triangle so the surface area will be 2 times the area of the triangle times the perimeter of the triangle times the height of the prism or 2 times half of side 1 times the perpendicular height plus side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 times h which is the height of the prism. With a cylinder it is important to remember that it has three faces it has two identical circle faces and one rectangle face. The circumference of the circle forms the length of the rectangle face and the width is the height of the cylinder. So applying the general formula for the area of a right prism, the surface area will be 2 times the area of the circle plus the circumference of the circle times the height of the prism or 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times h. Now let's look at the rectangular prism. The rectangular prism has six rectangle faces. Faces opposite each other have equal areas. We can see that the areas of the faces of A and B are equal, C and D are equal, and E and F are equal. Let's do an experiment. We'll calculate the total surface area of a rectangular prism using the general formula and then we'll calculate it by finding the area of each face separately and adding them together. Then we'll compare the two answers. The rectangular prism has a width of 3 cm, a height of 4 cm and a length of 10 cm. Remember that the surface area equals 2 times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism, which is 2 times length times the width plus 2 times the length plus 2 times the width times the height. Substituting the given values, we get 2 times 10 times 3 plus the sum of 2 times 10 plus 2 times 3 times 4, which is equal to 164 centimeters squared. Now let's calculate the total surface area by calculating the surface area of each face and adding them together. We know that the opposite faces have equal areas. So, we can just calculate the area of three different faces and double the total. We have length times height plus length times width plus height times width as the areas of three different faces. We find the total and double it. Substituting in the given values gives a total surface area of 164 cm squared. As you can see, both methods gave us the same answer. Let us also revise the effect on area of multiplying the dimensions of a prism by a scale factor k. We use our last example where the surface area of this rectangular prism worked out to be 164 cm squared. We multiply each of these dimensions by a scale factor of 3, giving us 30 cm for the length, 12 cm for the height, and 9 cm for the width. 
Let's use the general formula for surface area to calculate this new surface area. We substitute in the new values and find the new surface area to be 1,476 centimeters squared. Now let's compare the old surface area to the new one and see if we can determine the relationship between the values and the scale factor of 3. 1,476 divided by 164 is equal to 9. This means that the surface area of 164 was multiplied by 9 to get the new surface area. Remember, 3 was the scale factor we multiplied the dimensions by. 9 is equal to 3 squared. Let's summarize this into a rule we can use for future calculations. If the dimensions of a shape or solid are multiplied by a scale factor of k, then the surface area of the shape or solid will be multiplied by a scale factor of k squared. Thank you for joining us to revise how to calculate surface area. Remember to work through the task video to check that you have mastered the work. You will also be able to find more resources on this work on our website. Goodbye.